division and community process is a process that was entered into in, in 2005 by Fort Scott with a consultant by the name of Terry Woodbury. And he had a consulting firm um, and started the Kansas Communities. Um, it was, that was the name of his firm. And he started the program that was associated with the public square. So the public square is the model by which we work, our work comes from, meaning that there's representation at our meetings that represent the four main pillars of every community. And in his example, that would be government, business, um, health and human services, and education. So with that model, we try to make sure that we have equal representation or um, at least representation of those four pillars at all the meetings and all of the teams and all of the work that this committee does. Okay, so in 2000, uh, in the last couple of years, the steering committee has matured to a level in which we felt it was the best use of our resources in terms of money um, to pay the consultant, um, but we had matured past the level of needing that consultant. So we are no longer entered into the public squares communities model. However, the steering committee has seen significant value in maintaining those pillars um, and continuing the work. All of that being said, uh, the work that we're doing up until this point has been, one, hugely successful in our community. You can see a lot of the team's work that have graduated um, with very successful projects. The Heritage Park Pavilion, the, the Riverfront Authority, which is getting ready to, has already started, but getting ready to do great things down there. Um, the Health and Wellness Team, which has done the new pool and many things like that. Uh, we've, got, we've had an economic development, what they call outside in economic development team, where uh, individuals went to other small communities and basically learned what worked well for them, what didn't work so well for them, and then brought those strategies back to Fort Scott so that we could utilize those here. All of the teams that I mentioned, for the most part, have graduated out with successes as a product of this, as a function of this type of process. So about every other year, or every three years, this committee has been tasked with the responsibility of having a community update where we take information about the work that we're conducting back to the community so we can not only tell them about the successes that we've had, but we can get feedback from you all and from other individuals and constituents within the community about where we need to focus our attention next. We did that here about six months ago, and it was honestly one of the most challenging and difficult community conversations we've had because our success is now uh, going to look different than it has in the past. In the past, we have grasped a hold of things that were brick and mortar, um, technical in nature, and easy to assemble a crew of people and actually accomplish the task like building pavilions or fundraising for river, riverfront authorities. Um, we've got the Good Neighbor Action Team that's uh, currently in place. We're going to talk more about their function, but you know, it was a rally behind making something that didn't look so good look better. Okay? So that was relatively easy, and we had great success. Moving forward, we're, we've noticed that a lot of the work that we did was somewhat like low-hanging fruit, and now we have more significant and much more daunting challenges. Rita's gonna talk more about that here in a little bit, but it's things like tackling the issues with poverty, or trying to get our youth to be more engaged in our community more long-term. Well, that's not as easily defined, and success isn't as easily charted, so our task ahead of us is much more difficult than it has been in the past. With all that being said, the steering committee, and as a result of the um, community conversation, we have identified what the steering committee thinks is the next level, the next phase of teamwork that we need to focus on in this process to steer this community forward in the needs that it has identified. And so that's where we are tonight. So the last time we met as a steering committee, we decided that we wanted to expand the teams that we were having and expand the membership within those teams. That's why all of you are here tonight, and we thank you for your presence. We thought it would be unfair to you all if we didn't have a meeting to bring you all together about what the work is that we're going to be asking you to do, 
and a little bit about the process in which we do it so that we have a better understanding. So with that, what I wanted to share with you, and this is on your paper, which they don't have just yet, right? Um, I talked about the four pillars. We will, we will constantly maintain this representation of the four pillars, meaning government, education, health and human services, and business. Uh, we will have an action, we will have the individual action teams doing the work, and then there is a steering committee, uh, which is organized here, that will be steering those efforts and uh, providing opportunities for those teams to give feedback um, and relay information back and forth. It's the task of the steering committee to promote, advance, and encourage citizen-driven change based on the public square model of the community, utilizing the four pillars. The community is made up of individuals from four sectors. Working together, we staff and motivate action teams to help accomplish the community's goals. Keeping in touch with action teams by having them provide updates to the steering committee and by having members of the community serve on the action teams. Teams shall support one another and share ideas to make each uh, one stronger and more successful. The steering committee is to identify areas needing attention through community input and strategize a successful plan to help our community grow and remain vital now and into the, into the future. <coughs> Does anybody have any questions about the purpose? <coughs>